Good day, everyone. I, Mary Jeremy Angeles, together with Ellen May Dappin, will be presenting Case Digest entitled Dismissal, Inefficiency, Incompetence. With GR number 100629, July 5, 1996, Mendoza J. as Ponente. Here are the appellant or petitioners, Annalyn E. Peña, Erlinda A. Biron, Flor de Liza A. Abogado, Rosario A. Rania, Maria Luisa P. Lanuza, and Josephine S. De La Cruz. And their prayer, Petition for certiorari to set aside the decision of National Labor Relations Commission or NLRC reversing the decision of the labor arbiter and sustaining the termination of petitioner's employment. The Respondents The National Labor Relations Commission, NLRC Naga Parochial School, Messenger Jaime M. San Andres, and Flavel C. Favorier. And their prayer, uphold the decision of National Labor Relations Commission. Here are the facts of the case. The petitioners were teachers at the Naga Parochial School in Naga City and had been employed for more than three years. On May 4, 1988, the teachers were given notice of the termination of their employment on the ground that they had failed to obtain a minimum efficiency rating of 85% in the two previous school years as required in the teacher's manual of respondent school. Petitioners asked the labor arbiter about illegal dismissal which has been favored after the hearing. And the labor arbiter has given the criteria to determine the effectivity rating of petitioners were not clear and disorganized. Accordingly, they were ordered reinstated and paid back wages and attorney's fees. On appeal, the NLRC reversed on the ground that the petitioners had been warned enough after failing to obtain the required efficiency rating in the two preceding school years, 1985 to 1986 and 1986 to 1987 and given time to improve their skills and performance. However, considering the length of service of petitioners, the NLRC awarded them separation pay equal to one month for every year of service. In this case, we identified two issues. First, was the criteria used by the respondent school for rating reasonable? The court's decision was yes. The Supreme Court upheld that it is the prerogative of the school to set high standard of efficiency for its teachers since quality education is a mandate of the Constitution. The Supreme Court based its decision on first, the Philippine Constitution of 1987, Article 14, Section 1. The state shall protect and promote the rights of all citizens to quality education at all levels and shall take appropriate steps to make such education accessible to all. Second, the labor and social legislation, termination of employment, grounds, states that schools have the prerogative to set high standards of efficiency for its teachers as long as it is reasonable and not arbitrary. If the standards fixed are reasonable and not arbitrary, courts are not at liberty to set them aside. 
schools cannot be required to adopt standards which barely satisfy criteria set for government recognition. The second issue was that was the termination of petitioner's employment legal. The court said yes. The Supreme Court agreed that the petitioner's employment was terminated for a just and legal cause. According to same policy of the state, security of tenure cannot be used to shield incompetence or deprive any employer of its prerogative to dismiss an employee for failure to meet reasonable standards of performance. Petitioners argue that termination of employment is such a harsh and drastic measure to take against them. The petitioners were given sufficient time, three years, however, within which to make the necessary adjustment and self-improvement, but they failed to come up with the school's standards. It would be an act of oppression against the employer for courts to compel private respondent to retain petitioners and its faculty even when it is clear that they cannot meet reasonable standards. Security of tenure, while constitutionally guaranteed, cannot be used to shield incompetence or deprive an employer of its prerogatives under the law. The Supreme Court thought the grant of separation pay to petitioners while vindicating the employer's prerogative to set reasonable standards of performance at the same time sufficiently gives recognition for past services of petitioners. The demands of justice are thus satisfied. Thus, the petition was dismissed for lack of merit. In this case, we learned that God's servants are always to do their best in everything. Ellen White says in Christian Education, page 131, Let everyone seek to do his best. Let those who have enlisted under the banner of Prince Emmanuel grow daily in grace and efficiency. The Bible also says in Ecclesiastes 9.10, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. However, we may think that it is impossible for us to do our best at all things and at all times. If we think this way, Jesus said in Matthew 19.26, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Let us always trust God and ask for wisdom, for with Him is perfection, power, and knowledge, which will help us to strive the best that we can. That is all for our presentation. Thank you so much for listening. God bless.